put Chanello. <laughs> I've put Chanello on the spot today because I'm up here for probably our final or second to final lesson in September at her home pool. And I'm really excited, excited to share her story with you. And it's such a beautiful view. We've got some sun peeking through the clouds. First question. Um, we met in 2020 yes. and you, I can't remember how you found me. Did you Google I Kamloops? Googled, yeah, a okay. private swimming lessons in Kamloops. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and then you found me and then we connected. Yeah. Um, and tell me why you wanted to have some private swimming lessons. Okay. So, um, I know I've been scared of swimming. Um, it's been a long time fear. And all my children know how to swim. My husband is also a swimmer. They are very good with water, comfortable. We have a pool, but I've been so scared of going to the pool because when I was little, I had an incident of almost drowning in a river. So since then I've had that fear of water. So I decided to try to conquer the fear. <laughs> so that's why I yeah, contacted you to see if it's possible. And I think it's going to the positive direction yeah <laughs> okay so we started in 2020 and now it's 2023 yeah. so we didn't have any sessions last summer just whatever happens with live so yeah. this isn't something that's been one session or two sessions yeah. Um, Chanello has a fear and when she's in the water you can tell there's a reflex like an instinctual fear of the water so we need to spend time in the water to get over that yeah but our last lesson, this is what prompted me to bring the camera. Our last lesson, I feel, we've been making breakthroughs every single time, mm -hmm. but our last session, we had some, the biggest breakthroughs I think we've ever had. Yeah. It tell, tell me how you were feeling about what we were doing in the pool. Okay, so for, uh, the, during the last lesson, I really felt um, that I had gone a long way to conquer that fear. Um, one very particular thing I knew was that I couldn't go into the deep end. I couldn't even swim <laughs> in the deep end. But last lesson, I was swimming in the deep end comfortably doing the back flows and the breast strokes and just moving, doing um, what do you call it? Um, the, Lengths. The you length. were doing yeah, laps. Yeah, we yeah. were doing laps all through the lesson and I felt really, really comfortable. So. I'm thankful to Teresa. Yeah, oh, <laughs> that's an achievement. It, it was such a huge achievement. And every time I do something like this, like yeah. the reward that I get is mm -hmm. immense. Like it yeah. just totally warms my heart. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've even asked you, but sometimes before you put your face in the water, mm -hmm. you've had to do some deep breathing. Yeah. And I give you your space and mm -hmm. you do some deep breathing because you have to build up the courage yes, exactly. to go in. Mm -hmm. But I even said, well, how do you know how to deep breathe? Do you meditate? Do you just, no, no, I just have to do this. Otherwise <laughs> I can't put my face in the water. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you set yourself up for success. Yes. I, I, I try my best. Yes. Okay. So our newest um, thing we've been working on in the water because she told, I knew that her husband and her children liked the water and they mm -hmm. like to play and she's got a pool. So we want to have her to have some fun. But up until now, the lessons really haven't been fun. <laughs> every lesson is, um, you have to have a lot of courage in yes. every single lesson. Yeah. But what I didn't know is how much her husband loves the water and that he's gone snorkeling when they've been on a vacation and she hasn't. Yes. She sat in the boat. Yeah. So we brought some fins and we brought a snorkel. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure now, what do you think? Next holiday, you're going to do some snorkeling? I'm going to go snorkeling. <laughs> Uh, it wasn't our goal when we set out, yeah. but now we ever, our goals always yeah. change. Yeah. And then about two lessons ago, I said, well, you know, it's not like we're learning to swim for a triathlon. Mm -hmm. And then what did you say? I said, um, you never can tell. <laughs> So I just wanted to celebrate this success with you because I have a feeling one year, maybe two years, we're mm -hmm. going to get Chanello to do that Kamloops spring sprint in the pool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and we'll all get to celebrate together. Yes. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. All yeah. right. That was perfect. Thank okay. You. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Good. Okay, there we go. Now you're a bit more like a mermaid. <laughs> no. Huh? 
How's it feel? That's good.